Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we will understand how OSPF router can design an entire topology within area. As you all know, OSPF is a link state routing protocol and link state routing protocols router will have the view of entire topology. So now this is my topology and I am going to minimize this topology, hide this topology. And here you can see I have access of all router. By checking the database of router 1, I will design the entire topology. Okay, by checking the database of router 1, I will design this topology. So let me minimize it. Uh, let me minimize all CLI as well. Okay, now here I am going to design the topology by checking the database of router 1. So first of all, you will how you will check the database guys? So IP SPF database, database summary. How many number of LSA are there? There are total 10 number of LSA. And non-self is 9. That means this router have there 1 LSA 1. Right there LSA, uh, 1 LSA of this router and 9 LSA this router have received from their neighbor. Yes or no? So here you can see non-self neighbor, non-self LSA is 9. And total number of LSA is 10 over here. Okay. Now, so IP OSPF database. So this is database of router 1. First of all, router will check their own database, own LSA in detail. So it will open their own database router 1.1.1.1. Always keep in mind, router will open their database in detail with link ID. Okay. So here I have run command router OSPF database. After that, I want to check router LSA in database and router LSA of 1.1.1. 1.1.1 is not router ID guys. This is link ID. Okay. Router check their router their database in detail with the help of link ID. So let me hit enter over here. Okay. Now, as you know, there are some loopback running on router number one. So these are information of loopback because link connected to a stub network. A stub network means directly connected network. Here I am running IP 10.1. Here I am running IP 10.2. Here I am running IP 10.3. 10.1.4.1 and 10.1.5.1 actually in on the topology as well here you can see i have created five loopback so these are information of loopback here you can see the metric on loopback interface is what one so that means router one have checked their database yes or no so this is my suppose router one whose router id is what guys whose router id is here you can see one dot one dot one dot one my router id is 1.1.1.1 okay router router id is 1.1.1 on this router how many loopback are running there are some loopback is running 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 0 slash 24 10 dot 1 dot 2 dot 0 slash 24 10 dot 1 dot 3 dot 0 slash 24 10 dot 1 dot 4 dot 0 slash 24 and 10 dot 1 dot 5 dot 0 slash 24 this look back i am running on router number one okay after that see the database a link connected to a another router network type is point to point and neighbor router id is 6.6.6 .6. that means how many neighbor there are how many neighbor of router 1 guys? One neighbor is this one. And there is one more neighbor. Here you can see 2.2.2.2. .2 so how many neighbor of router 1 is there? 2. There are 2 neighbor of router 1. So router 1 have will came to know that I have 2 neighbor. Suppose this is my neighbor 1. And this is my neighbor 2. Okay. Then... Neighbor router ID is what? 6.6.6.6. Okay. So one neighbor router ID is 6.6.6.6. And another neighbor router ID is 2.2.2.2. .2 okay. After that, cost to reach my neighbor is cost to reach my neighbor is 64. Definitely we are using what? Serial link. So okay.
here cost is 64 in the same way on this link also cost is 64 here also cost is 64 then okay and the IP address which is running my interface so here you can see the link ID is 16.1.1.0 so this is the network ID with which neighbor with this neighbor because you here you can see the IP address of my neighbor is 16.1.1.1 so that means the network which is running between me and my neighbor 6.6.6 .6 is what 16.1.1.0 slash 24 okay so here network is running 16.1.1.0 slash 24 in the same way here network is running what 12.1.1.0 okay here network is running 12.1.1.0 slash 24 done guys this is router 2 and this is your router number 6 okay now router will check what the database of their neighbor 2.2.2 so so ip spf database 2.2.2 now you can see link connected to another router point to point that is neighbor router id is 1.1.1 done so it is talking about which neighbor about router number 1 and the ip address which is running on my interface is 12.1 so here ip address is what 12.1 as you know here ip address is what sorry here IP address is 12.2 .2 and my neighbor IP address is see 12.2 and my neighbor IP address is here IP address is 12.1 so in LSA 1 of router 1 you have seen the IP address of router 1 here IP address was 16.1 in the same way router will check the router IP address of their second neighbor so this is the neighbor of, of router 2 right 1.1.1 .1 .1 and IP address is 12.2 done and cost is 64 we had already discussed router 1 have already told you router 1 LSA have already told you the cost to reach uh, this neighbor 2.2.2 yes link connected to stop network IP address is 12.1.1.0 .1 definitely is talking about which link link between router 1 and router number 2 after that link connected to a transit network so guys transit network means multi access network that means I have connected with one switch I am connected with, connected with one switch and DR IP address is what 192.168.23.2 okay so let me connect one switch over here router 2 is telling that I am connected with one switch and the DR IP address is what? DR IP address is 192.168.23.2 and the my IP address is what? Same. 192.168.23.2. That means I am what? DR. So IP address of this interface is 192.168.23.2 and I am DR. Yes or no? Yes. After that. Now router have this router router 1 have came to know that router 2 is connected with one transit network so now router is going to check the lsa2 with link id so link id is this one okay let me check the lsa2 so ip ospf database network and 192.168.23.2 to find how many attached router are there in this segment so there are three router attached 2.2.2, 3.3.3 and 4.4.4 okay so through this switch 3 router are connected 2.2.2 .2 is here router 2 and there are two more router yes or no 2.2.2 and 3.3.3 and 4.4.4 okay so through this switch two more router are connected router id of this router is 3.3.3.3 .3 router id of this router is 4.4.4.4 done see here these are the attached router information in lsa2 
ओके नाउ दिस इज माय रोटर नंबर थ्री एंड दिस इज माय रोटर नंबर फोर नाउ रोटर विल चेक रोटर वन विल चेक द डिटेल इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ रोटर नंबर थ्री सो इट विल ओपन दियर एल एस ए वन इन डिटेल एल एस ए वन ऑफ रोटर थ्री ओके लेट मी ओपन सो आई पी ओ एस पी ऑफ डेटा बेस रोटर एंड थ्री डॉट थ्री डॉट थ्री डॉट थ्री ओके सो थ्री डॉट थ्री डॉट थ्री यू कैन सी लिंक कनेक्टेड टू अ ट्रांजिट नेटवर्क दिस ऑटर इज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड विथ वन ट्रांजिट नेटवर्क एंड द डेजिग्नेटेड ऑटर आई डी इज वॉट वन नाइन थर्टी फाइव डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट थ्री एंड द आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ माई इंटरफेस इज थर्टी फाइव डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट थ्री दैट मीन्स आई एम डी आर ओके सो दिस रोटर इज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड विथ वन ट्रांजिट नेटवर्क एंड माई आई पी एड्रेस इज थर्टीन डॉट थ्री थर्टी फाइव डॉट थ्री सॉरी माई आई पी एड्रेस इज थर्टी फाइव डॉट थ्री एंड आई एम डी आर ओके नाउ लेट मी चेक द अदर इंफॉर्मेशन लिंक कैके टू अनोदर ट्रांजिट नेटवर्क वेयर रोटर आई डी इज वन नाइनटी डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट सिक्सटी फोर डॉट सिक्स एंड माई इंटरफेस आई पी एड्रेस इज सिक्सटी फोर डॉट थ्री yes or no so it is talking about which which segment it is talking about router 3 is telling you that i am connected with one more transit network so let me connect router 3 with one more transit network okay and my ip address is my ip address is let me check again what was the ip address over here 64.3 64.3 and dr ip address is 192.168.64.6 okay leave it for now now i don't have knowledge about this ip address now link connected to a transit network and router id is designated router id is 23.2 definitely is talking about router 2 so here You can see the my IP address is twenty three dot three. I have already mentioned it. Here IP address is twenty three dot three. Yes, here IP address is twenty three dot two. Now router one will check the database of which router router number four or router number six in detail. Okay, let me open LSA one of router six. So IP OSPF database and router. Six dot six dot six dot six. Okay, so six dot six connected to a another router point two point and neighbor router ID is one dot one dot one. Definitely is talking about router one. Yes or no? So here the IP address which is running is sixteen dot six. So my interface IP address is sixteen dot six. And link connected to a stub network means link connected to a directly. Connected network that is sixteen dot one dot one dot zero. Okay, so here IP address is sixteen dot six. That means here our network which is running between router one and router two is what sixteen dot one dot one dot zero. Now next information. Link connected to a transit network. Okay, so here you can see link connected to a transit network and designated router ID is sixty four dot six and my interface IP address is what sixty four dot six. 64.6 is my IP address as well as DR IP address. That means I am DR. So this link is connected with one transit network. Yes or no? Maybe with this or maybe with this. So how we can identify that? This is talking about which transit network. So here you can see the network ID. Sorry, DR router ID 64.1.1.6. And what you can do? You can open the LSA two of this segment in detail. So IP OSPF database network and link ID is 192.168.64.6. See how many attached router are there? Three. Six dot six dot six. Three dot three dot three and four dot four dot four. Okay, so I am connected with six dot six dot six is me. I am connected with 
थ्री डॉट थ्री डॉट थ्री डॉट थ्री एंड फोर डॉट फोर डॉट फोर डॉट फोर यस और नो नाउ अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन एल एस ए वन ऑफ रॉटर नंबर सिक्स ओके सो दिस ट्रांजिट नेटवर्क इज क्लियर यस और नो माई आई पी आर डी सी दिस वन नाउ इट इज गोइंग टू ओपन एल एस ए वन ऑफ विच रॉटर रॉटर नंबर फोर सो आई पी ओ एस पी एफ डेटा बेस राउटर फोर डॉट फोर डॉट फोर डॉट फोर ओके सो लिंक कनेक्टेड हुआ ट्रांजिट नेटवर्क वेर आई पी एड्रेस इज डेजिग्नेटेड ऑर्डर इज दिस वन एंड आई पी एड्रेस इज दिस वन दैट मीन्स आई एम डी आर ओके सो आई एम कनेक्टेड विथ वन अनोदर ट्रांजिट नेटवर्क एंड माई आई पी एड्रेस इज फोर्टी फाइव डॉट and i am dr after that link connected to a transit network 192.168.64.6 and my interface ip address is 64.4 so who is dr this one it is talking about which router router number 6 so this router is dr and here network is what 64.6 this is your dr okay and my ip address is 64.4 ओके आफ्टर दैट कॉस्ट इज वन दैन लिंक कनेक्टेड टू अनोदर ट्रांजिट नेटवर्क वन नाइनटी डॉट टू इज डी आर एंड दिस इज माई आई पी एड्रेस सो ओके इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट विच डी आर अबाउट रॉटर नंबर टू सो माई आई पी एड्रेस इज हियर ट्वेंटी थ्री डॉट फोर ये सो नो आफ्टर दैट इट विल ओपन एल एस ए वन ऑफ रॉटर फाइव सो आई पी OSPF database router 5.5.5.5 here link connected to a stub network 15.1.1.0 so this is loop back this is loop back this is loop back this is loop back and here you can see link connected to a transit network designated router id is 35.3 and my ip address is 35.5 okay so there is one more router which is connected with one transit network and dr ip address is what 35.1 and my ip address is 35.5 okay let me check another information here link connected to transit network 40 dr router id is 40 5.1.1.4 and my router id my ip address is 45.5 so definitely it is talking about this dr router 4 so okay here my router id is 45.5 and my dr router id is 44.4 yes or no and router have information of cost on each link yes or no and we have some loop back 5050.1.1.0 yes or no so you can see both topology is same or not Yes, both is same. Yes or no? So this is how OSPF will design the entire topology within area by checking their own database. Okay, guys. So if you have learned something from this video, please hit on like button. If you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe this channel, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. We will meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe. If you want to learn these things in detail, what you can do, you can enroll in, enroll yourself in live training. Done. Bye bye.